everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, my name is Sherelle and um, this is my, my YouTube channel where I talk about everything health, anxiety related and hopefully you'll find some comfort in knowing that you're not the only one. A lot of us have to deal with this crap. Um, so in this video, I want to talk about eye floaters and the reason why I want to talk about eye floaters is, is surprisingly, I've never actually stressed out over them, though I've always had them. Well, I say always, I mean, I've had them for a long time. And a lot of people were messaging me about them. I was noticing a lot of comments where people were talking about eye floaters and how it really worries them. And so I thought I would do this video because it is something that I've genuinely experienced and, um, and, I, would and I, I obviously feel like never make a video about something that I hadn't actually experienced because I just feel like that's mega false and I just don't want to be that person. But since I have experienced them, I thought I would speak about them. Um, so I've had eye floaters probably for about six or seven years, um, about the time I started to wear my glasses. Um, and yeah, weirdly, I think... I think the reason why I never stressed out over them is because they kind of made an appearance before my health anxiety was even a thing. And so I've kind of just got used to them being there now. But the way I kind of describe them is, is in my right eye, which is my better eye, it's more like, um, like a cobweb and it kind of just goes across my eye. And in my left eye, um, which is my worse eye, it's more kind of actual floaters um, and there's probably there's loads of them. I've probably got about 10 of them. And again, you know, they kind of swish across my eye and I don't see them all the time, but I see them on very sunny, bright days. Um, if I'm in like a white room, um, especially if I look up at the sky, that's when I'll see them. And it's only now actually that I can see and realise and kind of put these connections together that they were always worse when I was highly anxious or when I was going through a very stressful period. And like, now that I've done some reading on them, I'm like, oh, that makes so much sense. They were also um, a lot worse in my pregnancy, which is just, um, you know, that that's, that does happen. A lot of people, a lot of women that have never had floaters before um, sometimes will get them when they're pregnant. And I think it was, my yeah my first pregnancy they got like really bad and I was a bit like oh this is a bit strange and so I went to the optician I had my eyes tested and I you know I, I said that you know this is they're getting like really bad and uh, the optician was just like you know it's it does happen during pregnancy it's all that increased blood flow and there's a lot going on there's a lot of changes and she you know she said don't worry about it and um and yeah they came back again with vengeance in my second pregnancy and a lot of you will know that after my second pregnancy, so literally the start of this year, I had a full on like nervous breakdown and my floaters were terrible, you know, they were really bad. But, you know, at that time they were like kind of like the least of my worries. I wasn't really um, massively bothered by them, but I did do a bit of reading just kind of out of, you know, curiosity. And it made so much sense to me because I know a lot of us, we all, you know, we all talk about the fight or flight response mode, whatever, um, but it does make a lot of sense because when our body thinks we're in danger, um, we, we turn on this fight or flight mode. And it's really, really useful if you're being chased by a bear or if something really dangerous is about to happen, you know, it, the body tenses up you know, your, your blood will flow to your extremities, your, um, it'll flow to your brain, to your eyes. It does all of these things to make us alert and to allow us to act and allow us to run the fastest we've ever run and, and to see the best we've ever seen. And so it's a, really, it's a really great tool to be used if we're in some serious danger. But if we're doing it because we're sat in our bedroom and we're Googling, not so helpful. And so a lot of us, you know, we get stuck in this mode and it becomes chronic. And because it becomes chronic, we start to get these issues because the body is not designed to be stuck in that mode 24 seven. Like it's just not, it's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to, you know, if you look at kind of animals um, they'll run from their prey and then five minutes later, they're grazing grass again, like as if, the, as if it never happened. And that is kind of what's supposed to happen, but we're conscious beings and unfortunately, you know, 
we have thoughts and, and, and we're aware of our own mortality and there's all these other stuff. And so the way that anxiety can cause eye flow, and I will say as well, for anyone that, you know, has a new appearance of eye flow, as you know, first and foremost, go and get your eyes checked. Like, I'm not a doctor. Go and get your eyes checked. But if, you know, that test comes back fine um, and you're, uh, you know, you're, a, you're an anxious person, I think it's reasonable to assume that it is the anxiety causing it. And the eyes are affected with anxiety because anxiety and the hormones that anxiety produces, adrenaline, cortisol, you know, the whole kind of the, the change in blood pressure will cause our vision to get blurry and it can cause floaters um, and just unpleasant. You know, some people actually get like pain in their eyes and it's because the eyes um, are dealing with this added pressure that they're just not used to not used to having. And and so, like I said, looking back now, I can see that when I was very, very anxious, um, my vision had deteriorated quite a bit to the point where I had to have my glasses changed and I was dealing with a lot of floaters. And now that just makes total sense. You know, you've got to think about anxiety affects the body in crazy ways. You know, a lot of people will get tingling and numbness in their hands. And again, it's because the, the blood has flowed to those areas. And, you know, it turns into tingling and numbness because we're not actually releasing that energy. We're just kind of sat in our bedroom Googling. So I know it's easy to panic over eye floaters. A lot of people will worry about, you know, retina detachment or a brain tumor or ms or any other kind of awful neurological kind of problem but i think you've got to remember as well that you're an anxious individual you know if you've had your eyes checked and it's come back fine amazing and also the eye floaters are actually really common you know they are they are very common and and so I think that's kind of something that we need to hold on to. And I know it's difficult. Like I'm saying this from a perspective of I'm on my way to recovery. So I'm saying things logically. Um, but I recognise that kind of when you're in that place where you're not kind of logical because you're dealing with like a really severe health anxiety kind of relapse, all logic goes out the window. Like I've been there, you know, when somebody can ex explain all these things to you and you're still convinced um, but a lot of people deal with them. Like I've spoken to so many people that have them, like some of my family members have floaters, some of my friends have floaters. Um, and yeah, so I think that that's something to, to hold on to is that they are really common and you've got to think about the way that anxiety and stress affects the body is crazy. And for some reason, a lot of us like when we deal with symptoms, as people with health anxiety, you know, we want, it's almost like we want a diagnosis. We want something so that we know how to fix it or we know what it is so at least we can let it go. But a lot of us, we don't take into consideration anxiety, which is a big condition, you know, it causes a range of anxiety symptoms. Like, gosh, like there's probably hundreds. I know that, you know, Google will tell you kind of the, the typical ones like palpitate, palpitations, chest pain, dizziness, but there's so many, there's so many more, like I've dealt with like way more than that. And so I think if you're dealing with eye floaters, don't get your eyes checked, you know, for your own peace of mind. And then if that comes back fine, I really think that, you know, anxiety is, is the cause. And I think that reducing your stress levels and reducing your anxiety fundamentally will, you know, reduce the will reduce the floaters because I don't really get, I'm trying to see now if I can see any. Like, I think mine are gone now. Okay, no, there's one. Yeah, I've got a few, but like nowhere near as bad as they used to be. And to be honest, now I don't even like really pay attention to them. But, um, but yeah, that's kind of my experience with floaters. So for anyone who has like watched this video, and they've watched it to the end, um, please, in the comments, um, if you're comfortable, kind of write down your own experience um, and how you've dealt with these and how you've overcome them if you have, how they make you feel, just so that the comment section can be um, really useful for people who watch this video and they can kind of see that there's loads of other people that have dealt with them 
um because i always find that the comment section is kind of like a place where people look you know for for other people to see if they dealt with the same so yeah please um if you don't mind um do that and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't so far um and you will be notified every time i put up a new video um and also in the uh, description of this um there are some resources, so I've got the link to my um, Health Anxiety Facebook, the link to my booking system where you can book in a session with me to talk about health anxiety, um, and um, also the link to my, um, to my Instagram. So anyways, guys, um, I hope that was helpful. I will see you guys very soon, and take care.